A Days of Thunder 2? I checked into it. Three, two, one. What's up everyone, Todd Brown, That Racing Show. Thanks for dropping by for this pit stop segment. Days of Thunder 2. There's a lot of rumors out there circulating right now that this movie will be made. Some people are saying it's in script format. Others are saying that it's already in pre-production. Now for somebody like me, this really perks up my ears. If you're new to this channel, I make my profession as an actor. I've coupled my racing history with the entertainment business and for many years, I've worked as a crew member on commercials and productions, usually a rear tire changer, and also as a precision driver. So I had to dive into this, and today, I'm going to share my findings with you. Days of Thunder is a 1990 American sports action film produced by Don Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer and directed by Tony Scott. The film stars Tom Cruise as young driver Cole Trickle and Robert Duvall as his veteran crew chief calling the shots. It also featured appearances by real-life NASCAR drivers such as Richard Petty, Rusty Wallace, Neil Bonnet, and Harry Gant. Days of Thunder was released in the United States on June 27, 1990, by Paramount Pictures. The film received mixed reviews from critics, who praised its racing sequences and the performances of Cruz and Duvall, but criticized its lack of originality, screenplay, and similarities to Top Gun. The original Days of Thunder and Top Gun were both directed by the late Tony Scott. Now in 2023, rumors are circling that 2022's Top Gun Maverick director Joseph Kaczynski and Tom Cruise are collaborating for Days of Thunder 2. Interestingly, Cruise and Paramount have been reportedly in a legal battle after Cruise did not approve of two pitches from the latter. One for a Days of Thunder streaming series and the other for a Mission Impossible series. So why are rumors spreading now? Recently, Tom Cruise was seen crewing for Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes at a Miami Grand Prix practice, many believe this represents Cruise getting prepared to return to racing in front of the camera. Tom Cruise had also celebrated his 60th birthday in Hamilton's pit box for the British Grand Prix. But the truth might only be that, Tom Cruise and Lewis Hamilton are good friends. So much in fact, that Lewis contacted Cruise when Top Gun Maverick was announced for a role in the film. Tom Cruise gladly accepted Hamilton's interest and offered him a role as a pilot. Due to scheduling conflicts, Lewis Hamilton was not able to accept the role as filming was taking place during much of the F1 season. Which brings us to another film project that Lewis Hamilton is in fact able to be part of. This time not only as an actor, but also as a producer. Interestingly, the director of the film is nobody other than Joseph Kaczynski who is the rumored collaborator with Tom Cruise for a Days of Thunder sequel. And the executive producer, Jerry Bruckheimer who also produced the original Days of Thunder and Top Gun films. The plot of the film follows a retired F1 driver who comes out of retirement to mentor a young driver. Could this retired driver be Tom Cruise? For anyone hoping for that, I'm sorry to say that is not the case. In fact, it appears Brad Pitt portrays the retired veteran returning to the track. Brad Pitt is also a producer on the film as well. An interesting detail to the film is, it was originally listed under the title, Apex. But since the Days of Thunder rumors have began, the film is now listed as, Untitled F1 Racing Movie. The film is also listed as currently being in pre-production. So, could Tom Cruise secretly be a part of this film and that's where all the Days of Thunder sequel rumors stem from? Or is there in fact another trip to the track for Cole Trickle? Only time will tell, but for now we know for sure that a new racing film is certainly coming. A F1 racing drama with the likes of Lewis Hamilton and Brad Pitt. That racing show will keep you up to date with any insider news if a Days of Thunder sequel is on the horizon. So at this point, there's really no way of knowing whether this movie will actually happen, or if these are all rumors just sparked off from the race the movie that's already taken place. I myself would personally love to see this movie happen. I'd love to see 
what cast of characters came back, the new cast that come in, and where the story would go because there's so many storylines that could take off from where the movie ended. And I myself got a really personal connection to this movie because I got to drive the car that Cole Trickle won at the end of the movie in. I got to drive that car many, many different times. I actually drove it at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and I'm going to tell you, to sit behind the wheel of such an iconic car, the feeling I still remember like it happened yesterday. So anyways, want your opinions out here. Do you like the thought of a movie like this? Do you think Days of Thunder should be left alone? Or maybe just another racing movie with a whole different premise. But anyways, throw your comments down below. And as always, we'll see you at the checkered flag.